Hey, I'm here with Monte, and we're gonna show you how to make a dog shirt out of a regular t-shirt. Matter of fact, me and Monte are wearing the same shirt. I'm wearing a medium shirt, and he's wearing a large. He's a 60 pound American bully. And you can make this shirt with just about any size dog, any breed dog, whether you have a Dachshund, a Pit Bull, a Big German Shepherd. It doesn't matter. All you need is a few supplies, and pay attention to the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Now before we get started, the supplies you'll need are scissors or a rotary cutter, measuring tape if available, some sort of round object like a paper plate or just a regular plate, the t-shirt you're going to use, and your model dog. Our model today is Monte. Before starting, with the measuring tape, measure your dog from the start of his neck down to where his tail starts. Monte is about 21 inches long. If you don't have a measuring tape, Simply lay the shirt on the dog's back and fold the bottom of the shirt where you would want the shirt to end. Leave the shirt folded so you know where to cut. Now bring out your scissors or rotary cutter if you want the edges to be cleaner. We're using fabric scissors. It works more smoothly with clothing rather than regular scissors. Now lay the shirt on a flat surface with the logo you want to show facing up. Still fold it if you use that method. If you used a measuring tape, measure from the neck of the shirt down and cut horizontally at that mark across the entire shirt at the fold. The shirt should look like this, still intact with the bottom cut off. Now if your dog is long, you may not need to cut at all. All depends on the length you measured. Next, we're gonna create the body of the shirt. You can pretty much use anything rounded, but we're using a paper plate. Grab the plate and place it over the shirt, covering half the sleeves. Start from the bottom and just follow and cut along the plate all the way to the sleeve. To make sure both ends are even, you can then fold the shirt over to match the other side and cut the other side exactly the way you just did. This way it will be the same measurements on both sides. Again, we're using fabric scissors, but you may use anything you have available. Your shirt should now look like this, with half of the sleeves and cuts on each side of the body of the shirt. This next step is optional depending on the length of your dog's arms. If your dog has short doggy arms or is closer to the ground, cut the sleeves off, following the hem of the sleeve. If your dog is larger, such as a German Shepherd, you may want to keep the sleeves on. Ultimately, it is completely up to you. If you decide you don't like the sleeves, you can always cut them off later. Now, to make it more comfortable for the dog and their tummy, turn the shirt over, grab the top half of the shirt that is facing up, and fold to where the beginning of the armpit of the shirt would be. Cut along the top part of the shirt. This should leave you with a cropped top of the top half of the shirt. The bottom should still be long. If you turn the shirt over, the long part should be on top and the logo should still be intact and showing. If you would like, you can sew this part of the shirt together so it stays in place. Other options would be to sew on Velcro, regular Velcro, or safety pins. For best results, you may sew this part. Velcro would be second best. If you don't have either option, simply use safety pins. For time constraints, we're going to use safety pins. Slip the shirt on the dog with the logo facing up on their back. If you leave the sleeves on, carefully slip their paws through the sleeves. Again, if you don't know how to sew or have Velcro, use safety pins. Grab the ends of the shirt from underneath their arms and carefully safety pin both ends together so they stay. Be cautious not to hurt your puppy. If you sewed or used Velcro, carefully move their paws through the holes. The shirt should fit nice and snug around your pup. These are our other models. This is Layla. She's half Chihuahua, half Dotson. She's sporting the Tiger Striped Fantasy Couch Tee. Next, we have Sammy sporting the black and gold Fantasy Couch T-shirt. She's 27 inches long. She's a big puppy, so we kept the sleeves on and simply just cut the bottom of the shirt to create a space for her tummy. And last but not least, we have Ziggy and Monte wearing the orange creamsicle t-shirt. Ziggy is a full Dotson at 17 inches. All these shirts and more are available at fantasycouch.com store. 
Well, there you have it. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And if you guys want to buy a shirt like this one or any other fantasy couch design, go to fantasycouch.com slash store. Also, I love to see how you guys made your own dog shirts. Make sure you post it on Instagram and Twitter and use the hashtag in the couch we trust. All right, guys. Here you go, buddy. All right. Finally, good job.